the people that I, I've learned, the, a lot of the influencers that I've gotten to know over the years, it's not that they're doing anything unusual. They're, they're not putting on a show you know, when they go on YouTube or when they go on Instagram. They've just figured out how to be themselves on the Internet, whereas I think a lot of people don't know how to do that. A lot of people are uncomfortable putting themselves in front of the camera or opening that door into their, their office and, and showing people kind of how they work. And so I think if you can get comfortable with that, that's a good thing. A lot of people, they want to know that step-by-step -step process. What can I do to sell my book here? What can I do to get my book in front of all these people? But they haven't done the, I call it the iceberg work, right? It's all that work that's beneath the surface. You can only see the, you know, 20% of the iceberg that's above the water. But if you go below the water, it's huge. And so all of that work, don't forget about that work that's underneath the surface. I'm Michael Laron, and this is the Writer's Journey Podcast, where you get a window into the life of a working science fiction and fantasy author. I'm on a mission to go from nobody to bestseller, and I'm documenting every step of the way. Tune in every week as I share my progress and discover what inspires my books and how I write them. You can find the show notes for today's episode at michaellaron.com slash podcast. This week, I'm talking about the writing life. Hello, Anchor Nation, and welcome to the inaugural episode of The Writer's Journey. I have some fun plans for this show. A little about me, I'm the author of over 40 books of science fiction and fantasy. I started publishing in 2014, and I'm a writer because I had a near-death experience a few years ago that made me realize that this is the path that I want to walk. What I want to accomplish with this podcast is to invite people along as I try to figure all of this stuff out. So writing, marketing, the business of publishing. My ultimate goal is to be a bestseller, but also a full-time author. I want to live life on my own terms, and I want to get my art into the hands of millions of people worldwide, whether that be in book format, audiobook, graphic novels, movies, you name it. I don't expect this to happen overnight, or even next year, honestly, but I'm willing to work hard toward it and chip away at it one day at a time. And if I fail miserably... <laughs> then I'm okay with that. I dream big, so I'm willing to fail big too. I'll be doing this show weekly with every week covering a different aspect of my journey. The first week of the month, I'll be talking about the writing life. I'll be musing, ranting, and everything in between. Don't be afraid to say amen every once in a while. And if you're listening to this in Anchor, the social media network, do me a favor and push that yellow clap button on Anchor whenever you like what I have to say. The second week of the month, I'll do some readings from my sketchbook, which is a notebook where I keep my ideas. I have tens of thousands of notes and observations that I've taken over the years from random thoughts and people watching sessions. So these will be short and inspirational. I'm looking forward to this segment because I've never shared any of this material before. The third week of the month, I'm going to open a window into my process. You're going to get a backstage pass into what's going on in my head as I write my novels. I'm also going to share nuts and bolts stuff that both readers and writers will both find intriguing. For example, if there's a writing technique that I try in one of my books that seems to work really well, I'll share it. I'm always trying new stuff whenever I sit down to write, so this comes very naturally to me. This very well may be the most interesting segment of the show, so stay tuned. And finally, for the last week of the month, I'll be sharing a progress report of my current book project, as well as marketing tactics that I'm using to build my career, mistakes, and victories, and all. I'll also be taking listener questions. You can ask me anything, and I'll answer. If I don't get any questions, I'll just make some up and answer them myself. I opened the show with a clip from a recent episode of my other podcast at the moment, which is the Ask Ally member Q&A podcast. It's with the Alliance of Independent Authors. A listener of that show asked how to promote a nonfiction book with limited time and money, and my short answer was to work on personal branding, as I believe that that sells books both in the short and long term. That got me thinking about my own personal branding, and it's actually why I started this show. I've been neglecting social media lately, and neglecting is putting it lightly, to be honest with you. I just don't enjoy it. I've been kicking this can down the road because I just didn't feel comfortable with all the options out there. I'm not a Facebook or Instagram guy, so I, I'm just not somebody that can take a lot of pictures. And, and the world doesn't need any more food pics, which is probably what I would take anyway, so the visual sharing route just didn't make any sense for my personality type. I had a YouTube channel a while ago, and I still am leaving the door open to that. It's called Author Level Up, and I really enjoyed that. But with my busy schedule now, it's just really hard and really impractical for me to do videos on a regular basis. And I struggled with the idea of doing a podcast, but when I found Anchor, it made me think about podcasting differently. 
I kept telling myself that my life was just not exciting enough to do a podcast. And I think a lot of authors say that, but I'm going to try to prove myself wrong. A solo podcast in many respects is the most difficult to do because I have to keep your attention. I'm going to try some different things with this show and some different techniques that um, I don't think have been done before in this space. So I want this to be engaging and fun. But if you find yourself doing this, let me know, will you? I just want to find the best mix of content entertainment. This podcast is a culmination of all the marketing and social media tactics that I've learned over the last few years. And to use my iceberg analogy in the opening clip, this show is going to take you beneath the surface of my writing career and show you some things that I think you'll find interesting. You'll see all the work that I'm actually putting into my career. So when I say I want to be a bestseller, I'm not just saying it, I'm living it. I'll be honest with you in telling you that I failed miserably at marketing over the years, especially when it comes to social media. I have a track record of picking bad social media networks. For example, I put a lot of effort into Google Plus a few years ago. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. But I believe that personal branding and a social media presence is important. For me, branding is everything that I do. It's my stories, it's my book covers, it's the look and usability of my website, it's how I speak, it's the quality of my audio and my video, you name it, it's branding. I did a lot of things wrong in the beginning, but I'm starting to do some things right now and it's paying off, and I'd like to document those. This show is branding too, by the way, and I've worked really hard at making sure that what you hear is the real me. I'm not going to put on a show. Believe it or not, that in and of itself takes a lot of work and forethought. Thanks for joining me this week. If you enjoyed the show, here are a couple ways to help a brother out. If you're listening on Anchor, favorite the show. If you're listening in your favorite podcast app of choice, do me a favor and write me a five-star review and share this show with your friends. I also have a Patreon page, so check me out on Patreon and learn about all the different bonuses that you can receive as an official patron of the show. If you have a question, send me a voice message on Anchor and you just may hear it on the show. Next week, I'll be reading a page out of my writer's sketchbook. Until then, I leave you with a quote. The road to hell is paved with works in progress. Philip Roth <laughs>